So what I find in all of these different walls that I see over the last couple of years is that none of these rocks are touching each other, which I find very interesting because as they turned and twisted, I don't want to get too close, these people have beautiful tulips and things coming up here. They turned and they twisted and they stood up. Um, I think Mark Gallat has told me he has seen some like this down in his area in Alabama. I see them in Massachusetts. I'm in New Hampshire right now, in Salem, New Hampshire. But this just goes on, so I'm going to walk the whole length of this. I don't think I'm doing anything to anybody's property that I shouldn't be. So I just want you to see. None of them touch. And you can see they are melted right in. Everything is melted in. There's a lot of moss growing in places on them, living off the C-14 that remains. So I just find it so interesting. Different sizes. This one actually was, had turned into a block. And then when the event stopped, whatever the maybe fail-safe mechanism was or whatever. But you can see like these. Some of them are very, very pointed. Very pointed. Um, even though these are close, they're not touching. So that has really fascinated me right from day one, from looking at these things. Look at that. So I'm just going along here. This one is just like melted right down flat. So there's all different things. This is, I call them end caps here. And again, <laughs> locally in my area, what they told me was that Oh, they did this so kids won't sit on their stone walls. No, this is, this is all over the place. So I think, again, like it had something to do with the X Factor event. And these just turned and just twisted as they're melting down and turned into various sizes and shapes. None of them are touching. None of them are touching in any of the walls that I've ever filmed. Occasionally, I'll see a rock that's loose, that has, you know, come undone. But these, uh, look at that one. That one's really amazing. I'm just going to go here to the end of this wall. Like this, there's, there's a dead tree here that fell on top of it. But there you have it. So again, whether you're driving around, even a walking in an inner city, there's so much evidence all around us. We just all have to be awakened and observant to what we've been lied about. Everybody have a great day.